In just a few hours, we're expecting to learn the fate of Sigfredo Garcia. Late Friday, a jury reached a guilty verdict on two of his three charges in the shooting death of FSU, a former FSU law professor, Dan Markell. After 11, year, 11 hours of deliberation, the jury also could not agree on a verdict for his co-defendant, Catherine McBain, while the judge declared a mistrial in her case. ABC 27's Jada Williams has reaction, and what's next in that case? Guilty on first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder. Now Sigfredo Garcia waits to hear if he will be put to death for his crimes. And when the mother of his children heard that, she couldn't keep it together. No, sir. All right. Um, Sobs from Catherine McBanawa when she heard the fate of her on-again, off-again boyfriend, Sigfredo Garcia. State of Florida versus Sigfredo Garcia. We, the jury, find as follows as to count one, the defendant is guilty of first-degree murder. We, the jury, find as follows as to count two, the defendant is guilty of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder. It took three weeks for Garcia to be found guilty in Dan Markell's murder. It's not what his attorney wanted to hear, but he says he's not giving up. That's all we can ask a jury to do. Now what we'll do is we'll prepare for the penalty phase to attempt to dissuade this jury from taking my client's life, and then we'll make a determination as to whether or not there are appellate issues. But a different response from the state. It's been a lot of hard work. I can't lie. It's been it's been a long road, and I'm really happy to get the beginnings of some justice for the Markell family. About 30 minutes later, the jury returned with their response to Catherine McBanois' role. The jury is unable to come to a unanimous decision on any of the three charges. Ultimately, declaring a mistrial for McBanois. Her attorney so upset they broke down into tears, declining to talk to reporters. The prosecution, too, admitted disappointment on that decision. Disappointed. I mean, it was a lot of work to have to start over, but there could be worse resolutions than that. So what's next for you then? Uh, regroup and try to do it better next time. McBanois will remain in jail until her next trial. She does have a case management hearing scheduled for October 22nd. Meanwhile, jurors will return to sentence Sigfredo Garcia this morning. In studio, Jada Williams, WTXL, ABC 27.